Our brain with 100 billion nerve cells is our most important organ, and we need to nurture it. Genes, lifestyle, and health factors, diet and exercise, all play a part in remaining brain healthy. My name is Fred Sheriff, and for nearly 20 years, I have been directing clinical trials in Alzheimer's disease and related memory disorders in Fort Myers, Florida. My background and experience obtaining a PhD and MD, as well as clinical training at Johns Hopkins, prepared me for a career in research of brain disorders. Research is critical in solving the Alzheimer's epidemic. Incredible strides over the past 20 years with advances in diagnosis, imaging techniques such as MRI scans and PET scans, and an understanding of the targets responsible for the death of brain cells in Alzheimer's has advanced to the point that the intravenous infusion of monoclonal antibodies directed against two abnormal proteins in the brain can likely slow the progression of the disease if started early enough and possibly prevent it from ever occurring. We are at an incredible game-changing time for the potential to treat and prevent Alzheimer's disease and associated memory problems. In August 2017, I was running a research center with eight ongoing and four enrolling trials. I had 18 talented, dedicated individuals working with me every day to assist pharmaceutical companies in finding a cure. We were advocating for more research dollars, giving one to two talks per week, educating the public about aging and memory loss. I am a very fortunate man. However, then things changed. That same month, I was diagnosed with amyotropic lateral sclerosis, ALS, also known as Lou Gehrig's disease. And I thought Alzheimer's disease was underfunded and poorly understood. ALS has Alzheimer's disease beat. Sadly, it has no effective treatments and has no cure. The specific targets that cause motor neurons to die are unknown, so targeting a treatment is most challenging. I must strongly say that research is critical in ALS to find a cure and funding research vigorously must be a priority. Through the irony of now being on the other side, that is a patient and no longer a working doctor advocating for Alzheimer's disease, I am confident that with proper funding in the basic sciences and clinical trials, a treatment and cure will one day be found for ALS. I am still a very fortunate man. I have a loving wife and two incredible children. That is why I say research is critical for ALS, Alzheimer's disease, and all central nervous system diseases. I'm gonna fight this as hard as I can, and I still wanna be Fred Sheriff who has ALS and not ALS that defines me.